Hey guys, it's Danielle, and today I wanted to take you guys along with my planning and preparing for 2024. I know I might be a little bit late because it's actually currently January 9th, but the way I see it, better late rather than never. So it's currently raining outside, it's giving homey vibes, so... I made some tea, we've got some echinacea and elderberry tea, and I'm about to sit down before my nightly sim stream and read a little bit of Atomic Habits, a book that I read last year around this time, and read another book called The Reason for God. Both of them are New York Times bestsellers. Shout out to my older sister for the second book. She gave it to me when I went to her and husband's church. But I just kind of want to start off my year intentional and I like to read typically on my iPad but I have both of these books physically so I'm going to read a little bit of those and then we're going to get into our 12 week year because everyone has been talking about the 12 week year, the 12 week year so I wanted to go ahead and set up my 12 week year with you guys and show you how I do it, share the template that I found, give credit of course and really map out this year. sit down and do my reading I made my tea I want to go ahead and download my 12 week year template I'm using a template from a girl here on YouTube called hello Corey I'll put her information in the bio but I really appreciate her because she's giving not only a free notion template but she walked through exactly how she did hers I really liked the method so I'm gonna duplicate with my own goals and walk you guys through it as well I'm gonna use notion because I've been using notion for years I talked about that in my must-have apps for content creators video and why I appreciate Notion so I love that she was using Notion so I'm super excited for that I'm gonna download it now then I'm gonna sit down and start reading but can you guys get into the camera quality I haven't really used this R50 and the lens that I have I have more than one for all their glory I made a video unboxing this camera I recently got it it was a gift but I'm getting into the shallow of the feel the quality like and the pictures I don't know when this video exactly will go up but Thursday I'm getting my hair done by my friend Danae and I'm gonna take pictures after because I've not posted all of January and when I post those pictures guys they're going to be taken with this camera so if those pictures give something that my Instagram has never given before baby I know exactly how I'm taking my pictures from now on the only downside about that is that I'll need someone to take them I won't be able to just you know use lens buddy and set up my phone tripod but anyway I'm gonna download this template I'll put her video in the description so you guys can download it too and then we'll get into the planning Shardies like a melody in my head that I can't keep out got me singing like na 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 every day is like my iPod stuck on replay replay Shardies like a melody in my head that I can't keep out got me singing like
y'all so i've been sitting here reading and jules has been laid out look at him laid out with me the cutest kitty ever i'll show you guys more of him in a second but i also practice taking some pictures with this camera guys and i cannot wait to take those pictures on thursday look at how he he had his he was holding on to me look at him you're laid out. You are so cute. You trying to get your hand out? Can you not get it out? Maybe you shouldn't have brought your claws out in the first place, Spooky, huh? Maybe you shouldn't have brought your claws out in the first place, Spooky. Wow. Okay guys, so I did what I had to do. I read, I drank my tea, I got my mind in the right place to really visualize the place that I wanna be three months from now. And I went ahead and filled out my 12 week year. Again, shout out to Corey for providing the free Notion template. I linked her video in the description. So go give her a view, go give her a thumbs up. And if you want the same template, then you can just take it straight from her. I don't wanna just like repost it. But I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and walk you guys through exactly what I have for my 12-week year. If you guys don't know, basically this is an organizational tactic that people use to break the year down into manageable pieces, essentially, to accomplish their goals in a reasonable fashion. Sometimes entering into the year with a mindset of New Year, New Me, full New Year's resolution can be daunting, but if you break it down, it can be easier. So this is mine. This is the template she provided. Again, you can download it from her. I like this little description that she gave, um, but let's go ahead and get into it. My 12 week year is going to start on January 14th, just because I'm filming this video on January 9th, going into January 10th. It's currently 12.33 a.m. So I'm going to start mine on Sunday just so that I can really break it down into week by week by week. That means mine will go until the week of March 31st, so that means it technically might end April 7th but it's okay we're still gonna pretend that my 12 week year coincides with first quarter of the year so anyway when you go down you can add images of your own mine need to be resized to be uniform but i'll do that later i have goal one goal two and goal three your goals are going to be personal to you these are the things that matter most to me for the first three months of the year so to each its own. My first goal is to reach 15K on YouTube and have 4,000 plus hours of watch time. I put a screenshot of where I'm at currently for the last 28 days to use as motivation to do better. I put goal number two, increase monthly income by $3,000 minimum. That's not necessarily a lot of money, but I want it to be through a legitimate, consistent source. So that means I'm gonna have to do some straightening. And then goal number three is to maintain consistent Pilates slash workout regimen because if you guys don't know, I've literally never been a workout girly. I've never had a workout routine. I've never, ever been consistent in anyone's gym. And when I was in high school, I did organized sports, but I was even lazy with those. So I am grateful that I have a, you know, generally nice physique, but I want to be healthy inside, not just look good or okay on the outside. So I definitely want to get a consistent workout routine going. So when you go down, you can add all the weeks if you want. I just started with week one because I want to see how that goes to gauge what I should do for week two, week three, and moving forward. So I have the discipline to come back each week and revise and you know rework it. I don't want to do it all now and then forget about it and then I come back and I didn't even check it. So when you look at it, right, you can click this arrow and you can expand it. So the tactics are going linearly with the goals. So goal one's tactics are right here below it, right here, you know, and accordingly across the, the document. So let's just go through it. Week one, the tactics are gonna be the things that you're doing ultimately to achieve that goal. These tactics can change on a weekly basis or they can remain static. For me, um, we'll go through it. So for YouTube in particular, right, my tactics are to post a minimum of two times a week, live stream a minimum two times a week playing Sims, post on Pinterest two times a week about the value that I'm bringing in my YouTube videos because I heard that Pinterest is a great way to convert viewers to, your people on Pinterest into viewers and subscribers on YouTube. I want to post on Reddit two times a week for the same reason, but more so 
geared towards my gameplay live streams because I'm not on Twitch. Maybe I'll go on Twitch, but that's not part of my tactics for this first week. Next, it says engage with other creators daily because I do, le I do truly believe that if you feed the algorithm, it'll feed you back. So you've got to give to get. Go on YouTube, find new creators, comment on their videos, engage with them, and you'll be surprised how your own videos start getting more traffic. And then I want to promote one video a week because I've never been shy to play to play or to, you know, buy into whatever they're offering. I noticed that as the algorithm became harder and harder to manage, all these platforms added options to promote or boost. I boost my posts on Instagram. I've talked about this in other videos. I don't OC with it, but I will do it because I do believe it pushes you past whatever shadow banning they put on all of us because they want you to pay for it. So I'll do it. Why not? Um, just to get the exposure. If the content's not good, people still won't engage. It's not artificial engagement. It just gives you more visibility. So I'll do it for one video a week, though. And not for a large amount of money, obviously. <laughs> so my daily check-in would then be the daily things that I need to do in order to reinforce these tactics. For me, when it comes to these, this YouTube goal specifically, I literally just put all of the tactics again, um, but broke it down into a daily form. And this is just because I broke my tactics down into weekly, like do it two times a week, right? So that means that I wouldn't have a daily deliverable per se. It would just mean that two of these days I need to have done all of these things. Um, if you're the type of person that says I want to post on Mondays and Wednesdays, then you would have on Monday post a video and on Wednesday post a video and maybe Tuesday you plan your next video or whatever the case might be. I didn't write in my planning time to this particular week's check-in. I usually just like come up with videos randomly and write them down. But if I find that I need more time to plan and structure content, then I will write that into the week after. So my check-in is just post a video, live stream sims, post on Pinterest, post on Reddit, engage with other creators, promote a video, and I need to have done all those things at least twice a week. Once I get to the end of the weekly check-in, I will need it to post two videos, live stream twice, post on Pinterest twice, post on Reddit twice, engage with other creators daily, and promote a video at least once. If I have done those things, I will check mark them and then I will generate a weekly score out of 100 at the end. So this will give me an idea of how well I did each week. Now, this is all aspirational. These are all just goals, things you're attaining to do, you know? So if your weekly score is not 100 every week, this is not supposed to discourage you or make you stop. It's just supposed to let you know realistically where you are when it comes to attaining these goals so that you can do better next week or you can revise to make it a little bit more realistic. Your goals at the end of the day are supposed to make sense, you know? So... Let's go on to the second goal, which is to increase my monthly income by $3,000 minimum. In this, I put for my tactics, apply to five jobs a day. That's a little bit ambitious, but I put it. Build a media kit and look into Fiverr slash other freelance websites for the skills you have. Maybe, I don't know, digital products or something, but nothing that's scammy, nothing that's MLM-y. Nothing that brings me to anyone's company or anyone's course. I'm just being honest with you guys. And the reason I put those other options is because I'm not necessarily looking to make $3,000 specifically from a job. It just needs to be $3,000 that I can rely on and $3,000 that is legitimate income. Um, I didn't mean to do all that, but let me undo it. <clears throat> Boom. So when we scroll down on this one, my daily check-in is to apply to five jobs daily. So that's an everyday thing. Begin building media kit and research Fiverr and figure out if it makes sense for me. I don't really know too much about Fiverr. I don't really know. Um, I've never built a media kit either. So these are things that I'm just going to figure out week one. These are things that will probably change come week two. I'll probably adjust it and after building the media kit, change it to email media kit to five brands or change it to, you know, um, prospect clients for Fiverr page, you know, or whatever the case might be after I've achieved those, um, you know, those tactics but I'm not I don't know what I don't know when it comes to those two yet so I kind of have to just dive into that before I revise and change it for the next week but all these are just efforts to help me ultimately get closer to that three thousand dollars a month goal right so the weekly check-in for that would be to at the end of the week having applied to 35 jobs probably having built the media kit and probably having set up the fiber I just 
put research because like I said, I don't know if it's something I actually want to do. It was just, you know, an idea that I came up with to potentially help me reach the goal. So I'm still playing with it too. Then the next thing is my third goal, which is maintain consistent Pilates slash workout regimen. And I put a picture of my Pilates studio. My tactics for this are to go to Pilates two times a week, work towards an unlimited membership. And the reason I put that is because to go to Pilates is $35 per class. But if I go twice a week, that's the cost of a monthly unlimited membership, meaning you can go as many times as you want. So it actually makes more sense for me to pay for the unlimited membership, but the difference is I would have to come out of pocket monthly for that. So now I have a bill as opposed to just pulling $35 out of my butt whenever it's convenient for me to go to Pilates. But which one sounds more consistent? The unlimited membership, right? So I'm battling with that, right? Then I put go to real gym twice a week for 30 minutes and then I put stretch. I don't know what it is, but I have an aversion to going to gyms. Maybe it's imposter syndrome. I don't know, but I don't like going by myself. So I'm gonna try to push myself outside of my comfort zone to go to real gyms by myself. And when I say real gyms, I mean the one in my building, the unintimidated, most unintimidating one. My daily check-in for that is gonna be to one, go to Pilates, that's self-explanatory. And then two, go on YouTube and watch gym workouts. This is just to help me get more comfortable with things I can do in the gym. So maybe my confidence will increase then go to the gym and then stretch i put stretch just because guys i'm over the age of 25 which means i need to stretch daily and i highly recommend everybody else 25 plus to stretch daily you will thank me later <laughs> my weekly check-in for that is whether or not i went to pilates two times that week whether or not i went to the gym two times this, that week and whether or not i stretch daily so these will probably stay the same as I continue to get more comfortable with the gym or maybe I get that unlimited membership. I might change it to increase the frequency, but the baseline is that I have a regimen and a consistency when it comes to working out. I will be, you know, probably doing another video checking in with you guys halfway through this just to see how I'm doing, see what, what's making sense. But what I can say is that if you can conceive it, you can achieve it. You get me? So... Putting this down in Notion, putting this down essentially on paper, I think is going to be what guides me to be successful more than anything. If you guys are unfamiliar or you're new to my channel, last month in December, I did a dry December where I didn't drink, I didn't use any vices, anything, and I committed myself to posting every single day of December up to the 31st. And by doing that, not only was I able to essentially double my audience here on YouTube, but in addition to that, the consistency and discipline that I gained was something that I hadn't seen in myself in years. And it made me super grateful and inspired for what I could achieve next. So after doing a month of hard work and discipline in the midst of everything else in my life, I think that now tripling that essentially, 3xing that and committing myself to three months of discipline, three months of focus, and three months of goal setting and goal achieving, I think my life will be thankful at the end. Um, in this life, you can only go so long saying you want to do things or saying you want to be a different type of person and not taking the steps to get there. And one thing my mom always used to say is if you break it down into manageable pieces, you know, you can make it happen. So I think this is a great way to break your goals down into manageable pieces so that you can achieve them and make them make sense to you. And I'm super excited to do it. So if you guys are going to use the 12 week year again, I'm going to leave Corey's video in the description. I don't want to just leave her Notion link. I want you to go watch her video, engage with her content, subscribe to her, whatever, and then take the Notion template if you will. Um, if you have goals and things that you want to share so that we can hold each other accountable, go ahead and leave a comment because I would love to know where you guys' heads are at for this year, this first quarter of the year, all that. Subscribe if this video helped you or if you enjoyed goal setting with me and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. Bye.